STEP is uh, an oil field service company. We were founded in 2011. Since then, we've uh, expanded from our initial service offering of coil tubing into fracturing services. And uh, we also now have operations uh, not only in Western Canada, but in uh, the United States in Texas. STEP has uh, three basic uh, principles that we think are the foundation of our success. We, uh, we have a strong commitment to modern fit-for-purpose equipment that allows us to be an efficient, a relevant operator to our client. We have a uh, passionate focus on culture. We know that an engaged culture gives, uh, gives a business a competitive advantage. And lastly, we, pen we pay attention to uh, the details that make sure that we are able to f execute flawlessly on our client's location when we're, when we're working for them. STEPS culture is truly a competitive advantage. It's something we've fostered in the organization from the very start of the company. And put very simply, when you can get your coworkers and your employees to, to care personally about the success of the company, you have a tremendous competitive advantage. And by fostering that environment, we get uh, more creativity, we get better teamwork, and, uh, and we get, obviously, employee, uh, employees that love working for the company. Step strategy do, to deal with volatility is to be, make sure our balance sheet stays uh, clean and healthy. And uh, you know we are in a tremendous position coming into the downturn with virtually no debt and the support of our private equity shareholder. We were able to transform the company by adding new service lines and geographically diversifying uh, where we work. Uh, today, that same strategy is is uh, employed as uh, you know we're fortunate enough to have cash on our balance sheet. And our commitment going forward is to ensure that our balance sheet never puts the company at risk. In our uh, IPO prospectus, we published a two-year growth plan that sees us deploying uh, our idle equipment into the field and, uh, and of course, buying and, and organically building out our service lines. That is going to uh, position the company to be a significantly larger organization by the end of 2018. And as we look beyond 2018, we certainly envision uh, it, seeing a larger footprint in the United States, uh, product line diversification, both Canada and the, and the United States. Yeah, we're really pleased to, uh, to be a public company today. Uh, it clearly gives us uh, some liquidity for our, our, our long-term private uh, shareholders. And uh, looking forward into the future, we believe that uh, having a public stock will be a catalyst to allow us to continue to access capital and, um, and use our stock to, uh, to uh, grow the business.